finally you guys 5.50 a.m. I got these I'm heading to the immigration to get an emergency visa for a 24 hour stay here in Doha so I'll tell the story when I get to the hotel you'll hear from me very soon Guys, this is not part of the plans, but <laughs> welcome to Doha. <laughs> So guys, we're here at Holiday Villa in Doha, Qatar. I'm already checked in. And uh, there is an interesting story as to why this happened. And um, I can't wait to tell you guys about that. After uh, this one, I'm going to go to the cafe to get some food. To do this. Alright. So, um... Now I'm heading up to my room um, to freshen up a little bit, get some food, and uh, we'll discuss why I'm here suddenly in uh, Doha, Qatar, even though it's not part of my plans. It is not my destination per se, so... <laughs> but we're here. Funny how things work out, doesn't it? Here, look at that. here now we gotta look for a room you guys we are room 9706 which gives us this room Look at this. Oh, this is lit, guys. This, this, you guys, is giving. Look at my bedroom. Wow. And I even have a huge, huge, huge bathroom here and I realize I haven't put in the card yet the card key for the electricity so um, let's get that done look at this you guys look at that Welcome to Qatar, baby! <laughs> wow! Let's see our view. If we even have a view, <laughs> that is. Okay, not really much. But our goal here is to rest and recover. So, people, allow me to get some rest first and I'm going to give you an update very very soon ciao so hi guys um, welcome to holiday villa hotel here in Doha Qatar and um, as you guys may guess this is not part of the plan and uh, funny how things work out um, this was supposed to be a layover city for me but uh, I actually got a visa to enter Qatar for a short time meaning I got an emergency visa on my passport let me tell you guys what happened so basically um, I came from a flight from Clark Philippines to Doha wherein I was supposed to catch a flight from Doha to Abuja Nigeria which supposedly would be my uh, final layover city before I get to my destination 
However, um, upon arrival in Qatar, uh, here in Doha, uh, it was on the news that there was um, a huge, um, or a strike rather, that was happening in uh, in Nigeria, which caused a lot of disruptions in a lot of services, including airport services. Therefore, flights were grounded. Well, at the same time, flights cannot land in any airport in Nigeria for the time being. This caused a huge delay for my supposed journey. Like right now, I'm supposed to be on my way to... But um, I'm here to spend the day, rest mostly, in Doha. And uh, catch my connecting flight to Abuja tonight which is supposed to be the same time from the supposed flight time that I should have had earlier so um, it took me five hours it took really it took five hours before I got my my voucher and uh, before I was able to pass through immigration to enter the country temporarily um, and uh, it goes without saying that it was a pretty chaotic process because um, people were getting impatient, people were getting tired but um, I have to commend the personnel of Qatar Airways for you know really trying I know it's not an easy thing to do dealing with a lot of um, cranky <laughs> passengers but uh, I'm just glad to be here I'm just glad to have this time to myself to get some break, to recuperate and uh, recharge because um, tonight my journey continues and hopefully it will begin <laughs> the awaited new series that I'm having on my channel. Let's just take it for what it is. I think um, these uncertainties are part of the experience, it's part of the travel and um, thank you for listening and thank you for watching and uh, I hope you would stick around for the real adventures of this upcoming series and uh, thank you very much. Now, being the wandering kid, you don't really expect me to stay in the hotel and sleep, right? <laughs> no, no, no. That morning, I actually went out to see the city. I talked to a young couple, also stranded just like me, and joined them on their planned day tour of Doha, which they graciously allowed me to do so. So guys, we're here. At the 974, this is um, the World Cup football stadium here in Doha, Qatar. 974 containers. It's one of the venues for the FIFA World Cup as 2022 when Qatar hosted it. Uh, this is not where the finals took place, but um, yeah. highlight there, highlight there. This is one of the highlights and one of the... So here are some greetings of welcome from different countries. Uh, I know Bienvenuto, welcome and welcome to Brapajalabat. To my viewers, I have two yeah, companions to. <laughs> from Nigeria uh, here. <laughs> my guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, one cup. Last one cup. Stadium 974 is set to be dismantled. Thus, we just stayed outside and took our own photos. The 
National Museum of Qatar. Look at the architecture here, it's so beautiful, so unique. So, since it's called the National Museum, you can expect a lot of art pieces here from all over the world housed in this amazing architectural marvel and they have all these palm trees giving this <laughs> beautiful tropical vibe to it not complaining you know it's quite scenic as it is wow not bad look at that One thing I can tell you guys is today here in Doha is scorching hot. It's 40 degrees. Um, it's stinging on my skin. And look at the glare of the sun. It's intense. It's heat. It's just yeesh. But look. Look at how impressive it can be, you guys. This is what money can do. <laughs> Qatar just continues to you know defy what's possible impressive guys this is banana island resort according to our driver here in Doha and now we're in front of the Museum of Islamic Art here in um, Doha, Qatar. And um, look, at that. look at these fountains, you guys. That's pretty. That is so pretty. So according to information I got, this building, the Museum of Islamic Art, houses more than a thousand pieces of Islamic art that spans um, a millennia, more than a millennia, I guess. And then um, it's built by a very famous architect known as IMK. So look at that masterpiece, you know. Fitting, a wonderful fitting for Doha. So here's a little bit of real talk, you guys. Just like the National Museum of Qatar, I will not be able to go inside the Museum of Islamic Art for two reasons. One, I'm really, really broke. Really broke because. Uh, as you know, this entry here in Qatar is not planned, but at the same time, I'm dead exhausted. So we're going to our next destination. Check out! Look at that. This is the Doha skyline. Look at all these skyscrapers. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
next on our stop that day was the Doha Cornish, which is a 7 kilometer stretch of gorgeous promenade overlooking the waterfront. This iconic crescent-shaped walkway around Doha Bay offers the best views and vistas of Doha's modern skyline. What do you think you guys? That's a newer part of the city here in Doha, but uh, it's not the newest yet. And apparently there's a newer part of Doha even beyond that. How nice. And after taking the photos and the videos, and just witnessing the beautiful vistas of the ultra-modern city of Doha from the Cornish, we then continued by car going through the newer part of the city to see more of the marvels of Doha that awaited us. Not long after that, as we continued our journey to the new city, we were greeted by world-class hotel chains, huge shopping centers, trendy cafes and restaurants, and a lot more that you can imagine. And eventually, we got to the area of the Katara Cultural Village and the Masjid of Katara, which I wanted to see for myself because of its beautiful architectural designs combining styles from the different cities of the Muslim world. However, as you guys already know, I did not have a say. So if my companions didn't want to go down and stop, I just swallowed it up and moved on. As we entered the artificial island of Pearl, our first stop was Porto Arabia, where it was lined by stores such as Ferrari and Rolls Royce. This is the marina, you guys. Look at that. Beautiful here in Doha. This place is amazing. If you give it a ch it's a small state, sure. It's a small state here in the Middle East, but uh, it's quite charming, isn't it? Look at that. So pretty. St. Regis Hotel, which is a five-star hotel here. I am truly amazed, you guys. I did not expect this from Qatar on my visit. Yes, it is an expensive destination, but uh, it has some marvelous architecture that I think warrants um, at least a chance to see. For any visitor, fantastic, amazing.
paradise, paradise. You know where we're going tonight, going tonight. Paradise, paradise. People, this is the Marasa Malaz Kempinski Hotel here at the Pearl Doha. Look at this. Look at this textural feet. This is a five-star hotel, obviously, as you can see from its lavish building. It's gonna cost a lot of money. Stay there for sure, for sure. This pretty view, take your breath away. Baby, we deserve a break from our old ways. Cause I'm taking you to paradise, paradise. You know where we're going tonight, going tonight. Paradise, paradise. Fantastic. <laughs> you guys this is Marsha Maran's Kempinski Hotel here in Pearl Doha and uh, I'm sure as you can see from how it looks like it is a definition of luxury here very beautiful property but expensive for sure it's a place that uh, supposedly intended for people with money <laughs> so I'm just here to spectate I'm just here to admire how it looks like and uh, here's the name like I said you guys Marsa Malaz Kempinski and, uh, we're going back we're coming back soon Yep. With my companions not wanting to go out of the car anymore, I was left with no choice, stayed in my seat, and just witnessed and enjoyed the view from my window. So then we went back to the hotel. Around this time, I was dead of exhaustion, so I went straight to bed turned on the alarm until it was time for me to go back to the airport and catch my flight that night. That wraps up our 24 hours adventure in Doha, Qatar. If you guys enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like, leaving a comment, share, and subscribe to the Wandering Kid channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers!